there, Adam Gray again, and this time of year I'm always thinking about MCAT science because of all the combustion reactions we set off this time of year. Combustion reactions are of course a certain type of chemical reaction that have a characteristic set of reactants. A usual combustion reaction has two reactants. One, the oxygen in the air, and two, some other compound that has high energy bonds. For instance, here, the oxygen in the air reacts with the flammable gases inside the lighter. And here, the oxygen in the air reacts with the wax in the candle. Wax is really just a long chain of hydrocarbons. That's a long chain of carbons, 10 or more usually when we're talking about wax, and hydrogens all around those. And those are, relatively speaking, very high energy bonds. Now the reason why this reaction goes forward in the first place is because the products are at a lower energy than the reactants. In this case, that means that the water vapor and the carbon dioxide that are given off by the reaction are in a lower energy state than the oxygen and the wax was before the reaction. And then why this reaction happens now rather than all the time, like spontaneous combustion, is because this reaction requires activation energy. The activation energy is either the spark, in the case of the lighter, or the flame, in the case of the candle, which creates the energy the reaction needs to get going, at which point the reaction itself makes heat and it's self-sustaining. It's very, very fascinating stuff, and that's why these candles burn. But it's not why I lit them in the first place. I lit them because I'm celebrating the 237th birthday of America. Happy 4th of July to you. Good luck on your studies and in your MCAT, and keep thinking about science. Bye.